Here's a continuation of the algebra lesson 3b, which deals with geometric shapes. So we're doing word problems with geometric shapes. And here we have another rectangle. Let's read the problem. It says the length of a rectangle is two more than twice the width. If the length is increased by eight and the width by five, the perimeter will be 60. What are the dimensions of the original rectangle? So let's draw a rectangle. Here we go. Here we have the width. Here we have the length. Now we have to define the width and the length in terms of x. So if we let x be the smaller quantity, the width, then how do we express the length? And it says here that the length is 2 more than twice the width. So 2x is twice the width, and then 2 more we have to add to that. So 2x is twice the width plus 2, which is therefore equal to the length. All right, now. They tell us if we increase the length by 8 and the width by 60, the perimeter will be 60. So here are the new dimensions. New dimensions. So the width is going to be increased by uh, 5. So x plus 5, because x is the original width, so x plus 5 is the new width. And then the length is increased by 8, so that means 2x plus 2 plus 8, 2x plus 2, which is the original length, plus 8, which is now the new length. And now we have identified the new width and the new length also in terms of x. Of course, we could simplify this a little bit. We could say 2x plus 10 for the new length. Now, we tell, they tell us that when we take the new dimensions, the perimeter will be 60. Again, that means that 2 times the length, or the new length, might as well make that clear. So 2 times the new length plus 2 times the new width equals the perimeter, which is 60. And now we plug in what the new length and the new width are. So maybe I'll just put some brackets around that. Makes it a little bit easier to see, like so. So the new length is defined here by x plus 5. And the new width here defined by 2x plus 10. And that equals 60. And now we have to solve this equation for x. First thing we do is get rid of parentheses. So that gives us 2 times x plus 10 by multiplying the 2 like that. And then we do the same over here. So this becomes plus 4x plus 20. And that adds up to 60. Now we move all the terms with the numbers to one side. All the x's stays on the left. So we have 2x plus 4x on the left side equals 60 minus 10 minus 20. So what I've done here is move the 10 and the 20 over to the right side. And remember, when you cross the equal sign, the sign changes. Now we combine like terms. So 2x plus 4x is 6x. And 60 minus 10 is 50 minus 20 is 30. And then finally, let me move over here because I'm running out of room. 6x equals 30. Now we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient from the x, the number before the x, that cancels out, so x equals 5. Then coming back over here, the original dimensions were let x equals the width. If x equals 5, that means the width is equal to 5. And if the length is 2 times that plus 2, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12, so l equals 12. And there are the answers for the original dimensions. And that's how you do that problem.